Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Harakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming out with you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. The unthinkable is coming to America, Babylon the Great. You got to remember that this place is also known as a careless. Let's get that. Let's pop it up real quick. Let's see. Ze Zechariah just went in. Um, whew. I'll read this one. The book in Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 15. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly that say in her heart, I am and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Because this is what's coming to America, Babylon the Great. This also ties in with Isaiah, the 34th chapter, when it talks about how this place, this city, and we know it's talking about the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, right? The great whore represents America, Babylon the Great. The waters represents the nations because we know America, Babylon the Great, it's on top. Okay, it actually has the control of the other nations. Okay. But it has and it has the mindset of I'm a, I'm on top and I'm never gonna fall. All right? So this is that rejoicing city. What does this 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 place rejoice in? This place rejoices in wickedness. This place rejoices in great pride. The you know we I am and, and, and we are, right? The only standing nation, okay. On a planet, right? No one, no one can mess with us, right? But see, what we are starting to witness is it's going into Ezekiel, the 38th chapter of Gog and Magog. We know that's going into Russia, okay? And the nations joining sides with Russia because as Russia is going to be a guard into these other nations. See, this is all biblical prophecy, you see? So when I say the unthinkable is coming to America, America, Babylon the Great. You know, when you think about uh, uh, desolation, when you think about a uh, war, what do the people say? They say, you know what? America is going to continue to stand, right? They say Babylon and Great is going to continue to stand, but the Bible says otherwise. All right? The Bible says otherwise. All right? Let's read this one and one in Isaiah. Chapter 7 It says And thou saidest I shall be a lady forever So that thou So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart Neither didst remember The latter end of it Therefore hear this now Or hear now this Thou that art given to pleasures That dwellest carelessly That saidest in thine heart I am and none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow Neither Shall I know the loss of children? But these two things shall come to thee in a moment and one day. The loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. That uh, Babylon is all about sorcery. Babylon is all about uh, uh, deception. Okay? That's why the scriptures talk, say woe unto them. Right? Woe unto what? Let's get it. Let's get the one in Nahum, chapter 3. Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of what? Lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Okay? And America is, is, a, is a place that conducts nothing but bloodshed. Even when they go to other places around the world, they conduct nothing but what? Bloodshed. All right? Let's jump to verse 4 it says Because of the multitude of thy whoredoms Of the well-favored harlot The mistress of witchcrafts That selleth nations through her whoredoms And families through her witchcrafts You see A lot of things that America have ob obtained Was by what? Not only by the sword But it was also behind what? Deception You see 
He always brought more of more of the times he brought the deception before he brought the sword because he wanted to make you feel like, you know, he he was a he was a he was an ally to you, okay? Or there was some just type of agreement where, you know, where y'all can come together and and you know basically piggyback off one another. But really in his mind, it was to undermine you. So he can what? Take everything that you have or destroy everything that you had. Whatever purpose he had in his mind. Right? Verse 5 says, Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And this is what the people are about to see. Right? That's why they're going to, when they look nearly upon thee, they're going to say, is, is this the man? Right? And I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vow and will set thee as a gazing stock. Right? Let's look at that word uh, gazing stock. Not mistaken, because I believe gazing goes on to looking upon something. Gaze. Yep, like I said, so when you do gaze, to stare, to look steadily, intently. Yep. Yep. So they're gonna look up, they're gonna look upon this place. Okay? And this place is gonna be look, they're gonna look upon this place and in, in, in uh scriptures talk about let's go and get that what's that revelation 18 i wanted to go to revelation 18 anyway but i want to get to the point um right here right and just just to, uh Lock, yeah. Verse 15 it says The merchant of these things Which were made rich by her Shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment Weeping and wailing Because remember you got to understand uh, uh, Babylon are great This is an importing country This is not an exporting country Everything that you see The majority eight, I'll say 8 out of 10 Okay, I might even be nice with that number Of all these things that you see Okay That you uh, uh they're all imported. Well, you'll still see things uh, uh, made from China, made from Taiwan, made from Italy, made from Portugal, made from uh, uh, wherever. Okay? You could just walk around a house and you'll just see made from nine times out of the ten of things that's, that you have in your home that you can go look through. It will not say made in the USA. No. Okay? Not happening. You see? But see, these are the nations seeing the destruction of America, Babylon, and Great. So like I said, and I'm going to probably do a series through the spirit. The unthinkable is coming. Because the mindset of the people is, is that nothing's going to take place. There ain't going to be no destruction here. If there was World War III, the, uh, uh, Babylon would be able to win. Okay? You know, there's, there's not going there's not going to be no economic collapse. You know, won't be this, won't be that. Nah, you, you people have a... You have another thing coming. All right. So now let's go. Let's go here. Verse two. It says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is. I'll start at the top. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen. And has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. This, this didn't happen yet. Right, because Babylon the Great is still what thriving. You see, I'm talking right now here in America, Babylon the Great, but I'm, I'm, I'm going over the scriptures of prophecy that this place is going to be inhabited by desert like creatures, as it's stated in Isaiah the 34th chapter. So, when you people talk about you know the Old Testament is done away with this and that, no, because even going back to Isaiah 30, the 34th chapter, it goes and go, going into the destruction of Babylon the Great, okay. The U.S. 
It says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of her wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance, through the abundance of her delicacies. You see? So they all have drunken out of this golden cup. You know? They all have drunken of this golden cup full of abominations. You see? And these nations, they have waxed rich. Okay? Through de having dealings with Babylon the Great. But when you have dealings with another nation or people, right? There are agreements that you make. Okay? And now the nations are starting to see like, yo, we got effed over. Okay? We got effed over. So now the nations are pissed. And now they're starting to align themselves with each other and trying to find a way to X out Babylon. Right? So it says, and I heard another voice from, uh, another heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. You see? And now this is talking about the elect being beamed up. Okay? The elect is being going to be beamed up on, upon what? Onto the chariots. All right? For her sins have reached into heaven and the most I have remembered her iniquities. You know, so that spirit, like I always say, the spirit that they say, you know, God bless America, this and that. No, the Lord says, well, he have remembered her iniquities and her sins has reached, reached up into the heavens. OK, this is how much madness and wickedness America Babylon the Great has done and has promoted. Now, now, now that this thing is going all throughout the world. OK, it just shows you the, 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 the power that Babylon the Great had. OK. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and a cup which she had filled to fill to fill her double. How much have she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said for in her heart, I see the queen and I am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Like I said, going back to that, the height of, of, of Babylon the Great's pride, you know, that we can't be eth with, can't nobody touch us, you know, and, you know, if someone did try to, you know, go to war with us, we going to win. We, we, we for sure that we going to win. No doubt about it. But little do you know, biblical prophecy says otherwise. Okay, it's talking about the fall and destruction of Babylon the Great, meaning you're going to lose. So verse 8, it says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death morning and famine and she should be utterly burned with fire for strong is the lord the most high who judged for her so this is what's coming to america babylon and great now i want to end off with this all right the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 16 it says behold i have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for his work and i have created the waster to destroy now this is going into the thermal nuclear missiles okay and guess what when the scriptures talk about you know uh you know uh, uh arrows being shot from one end of the world to the other that's going into the missiles okay because we know can no arrow no actual arrow shoot from one end of the earth to the other but you know what our uh, forefathers have seen you know through their visions it's it's that's what the missiles look like. They look like arrows. Okay? Yeah, missiles are spoke about in the Holy Scriptures. Okay? So, like I said, this is a part one of the unthinkable. It's coming to America, Babylon the Great. And destruction is coming. Shalom.